Well, this is an outstanding win for our team. Um, tough environment to play. Uh, Florida's a really, really good team. Uh, they had a great plan uh, offensively against us. Um, took us out of a lot of things that we wanted to do when they kept running the speed option you know, all the time. But I think the big thing to learn from our players is, for our players is, you know, we continue to have to be able to maintain intensity throughout a game. Uh, when we got ahead 21-3, I think our, our players, we played, you know, absolutely great football. And then we go three plays and out three times in a row on offense. Eventually they score a touchdown, get the crowd back into the game. Um, and then it was, it was difficult after that. It was really difficult after that. I think our, our, our players showed a lot of resiliency in the game. Uh, we made the plays that we had to make uh, on offense. Uh, we stopped the two-point conversion. We made the plays that we had to make on offense to um, you know, stay ahead in the game uh, as well as uh, take the air out of it at the end of the game. So um, you know, tough place to play. I thought Bryce did a really good job of managing uh, the crowd noise. Um, you know, there were some times where it gave us issues, but it was really a, a more of a snap count issue than it was uh, his doing. Um, so, you know, the center had a tough time here and a couple times, um, and we snapped the ball late and got some penalties. So, um, but all in all, I think there's a lot to learn. Uh, I'm hopeful that, you know, our team can learn uh, from this experience, uh, learn how to improve, learn how to get better, you know, kind of see, you know, where, where you are personally as a player, where we are collectively as a team, what we need to do to uh, get better individually and improve and play with more consistency and maintain intensity, um, as well as do the same thing as a team. So, um, you know, there's a lot of good things for us to learn out there, but, um, you know, we started to reel a little bit on defense. Uh, I think we got tired. Uh, I think we got tired you know, in the second quarter, uh, we played a lot of plays when we went three and out three times in a row. Uh, so, you know, we either got to play more players or have more opportunities. But, you know, we had a difficult time start, stopping the run. They had 258 yards rushing. Uh, I don't think we've had that for a long time. Um, but between the quarterback runs, and I thought their quarterback did a really good job of uh, completing some passes when they needed to. Um, we only got one turnover in the game, so uh, there's a lot of things that uh, we need to do better, no doubt. I was just asking about uh, B. Rob and, and why he's a guy you guys decided to get the ball to in some really important moments in this game. Yeah, B. Rob played a really good game. Uh, I thought he did a really good job in the game. Um, you know, he got banged up a little bit in the end. I think um, bruises ribs or something, but uh, I think he'll be okay. I thought he played really well in the game. Uh, strong run. I thought Jace played really well in the game too. So I thought those two guys really both did an outstanding job. We'll go to Dennis Dodd. Nick, what concerned you most about the uh, What concerned me most was that we could not sustain our intensity, especially on defense. Uh, we had a lot of mental errors, um, and uh, they did a good job. They, they they did a really good job. Had a good plan. Um, and, you know, when you're playing the option and, you know, everybody's got to be disciplined. Somebody's got the quarterback, somebody's got the pitch. And because we weren't doing that correctly, I think we were afraid to do a lot of other things uh, that we had planned in the game. Uh, but we didn't get off the field on third down either. We had several opportunities, especially in the fourth quarter, to get off the field on third down where we created long yardage situations. When they went 99 yards for a touchdown, we got them backed up on the one yard line. We got them third down. We got to get off the field. Uh, another situation where it was third and 18, they can, they complete a pass for 16 yards and go for it on fourth down and convert. So um, got to get off the field on third down. Um, so all in all, it was just our execution on defense and uh, the fact that we didn't get a, a, off the field on third down. We'll go to Mike Rodak. When you're trying to take the air out of the ball there late in the game, there's the issue with the game clock in the stadium. How much did that complicate what you're trying to do in terms of clock management? Well, it certainly didn't help any. You know, it's nice to know if the clock's running or the clock's not running. Um, and um, we had to tell the quarterback when the clock was running. So we were milking the clock, but the clock really wasn't running. So we were going off the game. Uh, the 
42nd clock. Um, it did complicate it a bit, um, but you know, I think our players did a pretty good job of managing it. The one time we got it down to one, and uh, you know, I was running to call a timeout, but um, we got the playoff. So we just need a little bit, do a little better job in those situations. We could get out of the huddle at 15, be ready to run the play at eight, you know, and snap it at three or four. Go to Michael Casagrande. Uh, he didn't limp off the field. He was fine. Um, he's he played more plays probably and got tired in the game. Uh, that was probably his biggest issue. I talked to him in the locker room after the game, asking if he had any issues. He said no. Uh, he said he did get tired in the game though. It's humid out there. Michael, did you have another one? Go ahead, you. Yeah, I just was want to ask about Bryce and the way he handled his composure through that second half. Yeah, I think Bryce did a really good job. I think it was very composed. It was a difficult circumstance and situation to play in. Um, you know, we clapped some. We went on silent some. Uh, but I thought he managed the game really well, made some really, really good decisions uh, for the most part. Um, we did a nice job on third down, which was really important in the game. Uh, made some good reads. Guys made some good catches. So. Um, you know, I, I thought offensively, you know, other than those three three and outs in the second quarter, you know, we, we did a good job of moving the football. We didn't always score a touchdown, but I think when you play and you, you control the tempo of, of the game on offense and even when you move the ball and uh, control the clock, uh, keep the defense off the field, you know, those, those are important things when you're playing good teams. We'll go to Steven next. Coach, you've always talked about being able to battle through adversity. How does a game like this help you moving forward as a team? Yeah, I think that uh, the players should gain some respect for winning uh, and what it takes to win. Uh, I think um, resiliency, overcoming adversity, uh, we had to do that today. Um, and I, I think that if you're going to win games against really good teams, uh, you certainly know how, need to know how to do that. You know, I, I talked about collective character, you know, of our team, um, which is all about discipline. It's all about resiliency. It's all about mental and physical toughness to, you know, hang in there and persevere in difficult times. And I thought our players did a pretty good job of that. We'll finish up with Blake Tottenmeyer. Blake, go ahead. Yeah, Nick, uh, what were you expecting on that two-point conversion? And how do you think your defense was able to get the stop there? Well, you know, we knew that, um, look, they get an empty and they read the box. Uh, that's how they scored on the fourth and one or two that they had before. Um, we actually had a loaded box. And um, if you have a loaded box, you throw it uh, on that one. Uh, we actually were playing split safety coverage, so he had to run read. And our guys just did a really good job up front of stopping the dive. Uh, he really rode the guy for a long time, so the runner couldn't like hit it. Um, so that was uh, it was a good job by the defense, especially the guys up front. All right, coach, thanks for your time. All right, thank you. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.